inequities, and we can solve them. Imagine, just for the sake of discussion, that you had a few hours a week and a few dollars a month to donate to a cause. And you wanted to spend that time and money where it would have the greatest impact in saving and improving lives. Where would you spend it? For Melinda and I, the challenge is the same. How can we do the most good for the greatest number with the resources we have? If we can find approaches that meet the needs of the poor in ways that generate profits for business and votes for politicians, we will have found a sustainable way to reduce inequity in the world. Now this task is open-ended. It can never be finished. But a conscious effort to answer this challenge can change the world. I'm optimistic that we can do this. But I talk to skeptics who claim